The Stars of tomorrow get their shot in the limelight today as the show's coverage of the Southern League is on the air. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Tennessee Smokies and the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. So striding in, number 87. He comes in with 16 home runs on the season so far. Now a throw over, a dive, but he's back. Here's the first pitch to him. Pitch outside, the throw. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. They're showing they're not afraid to be aggressive on the base pass so far in this one. But we'll see if this caught stealing slows that down a bit. Managers never like to run into out, so they might play it a little safer going forward. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed in that strike one. one Fellas are home nine as they begin play here this evening. They come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Hey, Matty V, we're taking a look at a team right here, D Row. Through five games of this homestand, they're three and two. I know they were expecting more, but they'd like to win this one here today and get that up to four and two on this homestand. Yeah, this is an important one right here. You don't want to go 500 first six games, especially at home. On the road, you can deal with it. At home, this is a must win. But he'll flag this one down toward the alley. Nearly trouble, but instead, the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. So coming to the plate, number 87. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. This is a tough guy right here to hit into a double play. He's fast and he swings from the left side. So out of the box, he's going to get a good break. You might have to try to get the strikeout right here because very rarely are you going to get this guy to ground into a double play. Ferris on second. Estrada at first, one gone. Nope. One one ball. pitch is a curveball just That's off the ball. black. Two and one now. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Now the two one pitch. Is laid off of for ball number three. He's gotten himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation, and now he might have to challenge him. Gonna have to make some good pitches here. The three and one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92. You can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Digging in for his second at bat, Sergio Gutierrez. He singled his last time up. Center fielder. Sergio. Here it Luke comes, 0-2. One, one, one. Hit hard. Fielded cleanly. And that's the first out. Into the box now, number 87. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Hits this one hard the other way. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive.
into the box now. Jay Sasser. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Throw over to the bag and the runner back safely. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. So it's no runs on a hit no errors and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up the Blue Wahoos lead it one to nothing. Now batting number 87 and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with the runner in scoring position. Yeah Matt they've been really shut down so far in this one they've had runners on base but haven't been able to string anything together. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Needed a sand wedge for that one. Swung on and missed. Possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Nobody out. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. That's a good but risky take there on 0-2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. That oh, one bends down. around the zone, and it's 2-2. Two and two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, 1-2. and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one hey, apiece. Swing the bat. Nice you know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. First and second here with nobody out. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. That's a strike to throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. So a good job there of taking third unannounced but meanwhile the strikeout means two men are gone now. Ready once again Peter Nobles two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Runner goes for second hard hit ball to short and that is through and the left as he delivers it's a base hit. Coming in to score is the runner from third, and they've pushed it to two here in the seventh. Boy, that's a huge base hit right there, Dewar. We're getting late into this one, and that gives them the lead by two. Yeah, that could be a backbreaker right there. We'll see how this one ends up, but nice job. Stepping in, Sergio Gutierrez. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Bare-handed for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. At the plate, number 87 in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Come on, dig, 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 the other way down the left field line. But this will land foul just shy of the wall.
swing and a line drive. So this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Tennessee Smokies jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Greg Fielder claims the win out of the pen, his first. Carmen Camacho earns the save out of the bullpen, his 13th of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com.